All right, here we go. I'm about to intentionally lose a race for you guys just to show you what the difference is between a 2023 Model 3 Performance, my car, and a 2023 Model S Plaid. The only way I'm gonna win this race is if he leaves the starting line too soon. This way you guys will see what a 1.90 to 60 looks like versus a 3.1 second zero to 60. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna lose this race for you guys. <laughs> the only chance I have to win, again, is if he takes off too early. I'm racing a 2023 Model S Plaid. We're getting ready to get up into the staging lanes right now. But uh, this will give you guys good appreciation for what the speed differences are between the 2023 Model 3 Performance and the Plaid. So uh, both of us, the Plaid and myself, we're going to try to avoid this uh, water box here. And uh, here's our first race. All right, here goes nothing. We're gonna stage. We're gonna stage just so we can get the first set of lights on. And I want to give him time to get in his full launch mode. So I'm gonna kind of creep up here a little slower than normal. I'm giving him time right now. He's staging and he's going into full launch mode. So I'm intentionally dragging my feet here for him. Here we go. Got both lights. <laughs> oh, ouch, that hurts. <laughs> well, that's the difference between the Plaid and the Model 3 Performance. It's uh, night and day. Ah, yep. That was a clean race, though. We Neither one of us uh, red-lighted. So uh, I don't know about reaction times. I actually think I had a better reaction time than he did. But it doesn't matter. When you're in a Plaid, it... <laughs> It didn't take him long before he uh, passed me. I had no chance, no chance. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, the results are in. This, for those of you who don't know, is a yellow slip. This is a yellow slip. This means you lost the race, but this was fully expected. You know what, I don't feel bad about this at all. Actually, Brett in the plaid actually had a really nice race. He ran an eighth mile in 6.13, so he's gonna be happy with that. Um, 6.13 at 118 miles an hour. Um, I ran a predictable 736. This was the first run of the night. The car is not warm or the battery is not warm. So my 736, I wouldn't be surprised if it drops down to 734, 733, 732, something like that. But I ran a 736 at 95. He ran a 613. I felt like I got off the line a little faster than he did. I did. I had a 0.05 reaction time, he had a 0.19. You could see the difference in the uh, reaction times. Again, it didn't matter because he's just that much faster than I am. He easily caught up to me. It didn't take him long at all. That's it. I actually had a decent race with a 0.05 reaction time with a 736, 95 miles an hour. It's just when you're running a plaid at 6.13. Good for him. Hope you guys appreciated that. I mean, we all know that Plaid is a very fast car, is 1.90 to 60 and a 3.1 to 60 in this car, but what does it actually look like? And uh, I hope, hopefully the footage, um, you know, will show the difference for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys on the next race. All right, everybody, I'm going to, I'm going to lose this race for you guys. <laughs> I'm racing the Plaid now. The chance of me winning is only about 1%. And that would only happen if he red lights. So he has to leave early and uh, get a red light for me to win this race. Um, he's going to do a little bit of experiment though. He's going to go into track mode. So he's not going to go into full launch mode. So um, still, even with that being said, I still don't have a chance of winning um, head to head if everything's, if we both launch fair and square. I guess you could say I'm taking one for the team. All right, here we go. I'm trying to avoid the water as much as I can. The Teslas don't burn out, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the gas a couple times right now. Here we go. We're going to shake the water. We shake the water off the tires just so maybe I can get a little extra traction. 
Sorry, I'm waiting for my lights here. Here we go. We're staged right now. I'm gonna try to get a good launch here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Here we go. It's a clean race. Oh my God, he's gone. There is no way. <laughs> he was gone. Yeah, just as expected. Um, he took off really quickly. It, it doesn't matter if I uh, have a lower reaction time than him. He's just going to beat me regardless. Um, and it, uh, it didn't take him long to uh, pass us. You know, it's, I uh, hope you guys, I hope you guys saw that. I haven't, you know, I'm anxious to see what the video looks like as well. Um, but it didn't take him long to uh, pass us. God, those cars are fast. So for those of you that don't know, this is a yellow slip. This is what you get when you lose the race. But that's okay, because I was racing a Model S Plaid, and I kind of knew I was going to get one of these, unless he messed up and left too early, but he didn't. We actually started the race with reaction times of 0.10, so I had a 0.10 reaction time. That's a tenth of a second. He had a 0.14, so he was a little slower off the line. But again, does it matter when you drive a Model S Plaid? He caught me really quickly. Um, I'm hoping that the outside footage caught it because it didn't take him too long to uh, catch up to me and pass me. He ran a 639 at 112, 112 miles an hour, 639 on an eighth mile stretch. He's probably not too happy with that actually. I know he can do better um, on an eighth mile stretch, but he was playing around with track mode. So I think he didn't even go into full launch mode. He just used regular track mode, got a 639. Sure, but he I got a 733. Um, at 95 miles an hour. Um, again, I hope that the camera, the outside camera, caught the uh, difference between the, uh, the two cars because there is definitely a noticeable difference between a car that does 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds and one uh, that does 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds. All right, so uh, we're going to get our butts banked again because we're going to run the plaid again. Uh, you know, if you remember, he ran a 639 on that last run in track mode. Uh, so he was not using uh, uh, launch mode on that. Hey Brett, are you using track mode again or are you going to go full launch mode? I'm doing launch mode. Launch mode, okay. Confirmed. I'm definitely going to give my butt spin. <laughs> he was disappointed with the 639. He's going to go into full launch mode. That means when I get up to the, when I get up to the lights and I'm staging, I'm going to, I'm going to take my time getting up there so it gives him a little more time. The plaids need a little more time to get into full launch mode but so for those of you that don't know we're in Florida and I tell you what when you're drag racing in Florida it's hot you're not allowed to have the air conditioner running so I have to have my AC off it's stagnant in here and you also have to have a helmet on and you have to have a race jacket oh you get the picture it's stagnant <laughs> and it, it's hot. I so I so badly want to turn on my AC. Here we go. I'm going to try to avoid the water. Again, not that's going to help me win this race or anything. So the reason you can't have the reason you can't have your AC on is because it condenses the air and then it drips water onto the track. That can be extremely dangerous. So if you ever take your Tesla to the track, make sure you do not run your AC. They won't like you for that. Here we go. Again, I'm gonna let him get his lights first. I'm uh, taking my time, here we go. He's staged, see he has both lights. So now I'm getting in. I'm gonna pre-stage with the first set of bulbs. Here we go. Second set, okay, so he's probably in full launch mode right now. and the outcome is going to be exactly the same. It's not going to change unless he red lights on me. That is the only chance that I have of winning a race against him. So, but it's fun. I mean, heck, 
it's still an adrenaline rush when you see a car take off that fast. The Model 3 Performance is a very fast car. I mean, for those of you that are watching this that drive this car, either the Model 3 Performance, the Y or the 3, I mean, they're fast cars off the line. And yet, when you're on the drag strip and you're racing a Plaid, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Even if he gave me, even if he gave me a head start, it just wouldn't take long for him to catch up to me and pass me. So, uh, you know, win or lose, it's it's really fun to see that. The Model S Plaid is a fast car. It's fun to run side by side because um, it goes. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys on the next race.